Mr. E versus Sinji. So this was always like a historical uh, match where like Sinji would do unbelievably well versus E because uh, like E is just raging hot fire who does not know how to slow it down. Now E has gotten a little bit older and now he kind of understands some limits, you know, but it is just his nature, right? Then you have Sinji, man with infinite patience. Uh, his patience uh, goes back as as Pac-Man is, is is old. So, you know, like the 80s or whatever. You know, he'll wait for 30, 40 years. He ain't, he, he ain't got no problem with that. So, starting off on Kalos. And, uh, yeah, right now... E getting like some of the hits in, uh, getting majority, get, getting more damage in, but right now it's still, you know, it's too close to call. Like none of this, you cannot really make something happen from here unless you actually like, oh, like extend into it. Dash attack, no. Alright, so Sinji down the first stock. Uh, e at 100, he won't immediately die to something, but, uh, like, if he falls for anything, you know, you got the endless book of shenanigans that Sinji has. So you can never, you always gotta be on your toes. Whoa! That's such great pressure. Because, like, you have to jump out of the way to dodge the key, and then you have this truck of a hydrant just barreling towards you. Terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. And it's such a persistent hitbox. The air dodge, like, you're like, oh, God, will this even work? Uh-oh. Alright, uh, so he did a really good job of like staying alive for a very long time. Unfortunately, you know, part of that was just because of like sometimes there's not too much interaction. As you can see, he only, he was able to build 80 damage. Now, that's pretty solid. It's a little bit above like, you know, the get hit by one string and it's even again. Uh, but now he has to like really make sure he pushes advantage, he doesn't sleep on him. Uh, Cause like, you know, you just bring it right back in like a few more hits. Oh. Okay, I like that. I like the way that Sinji recovered there. Using that jump to like kind of mix up the timing for that. Cause he doesn't want to get, he knows that he is able to uh, counter it. And this is something that like, I, I feel like people don't give enough credit. Like when you see that like Sinji immediately reacts to the fact that he saw that when uh, E hit the hydrant on accident, he now is thinking about the hydrant and he's gonna try and hit it because like oh the next hit will just set it off. And he's just like okay I'm gonna throw something at you now idiot, you know, and uh, you know just puts him in a bad situation and now you see that Sinji's able to turn it around. Uh, e on his last stock now he is knocking on Death's door, so. You know, he's not completely out of the woods, but if he's able to build a pretty good lead here, you know, right now anything will do. So, yeah, 170, and there's that counter we were talking about. All right, so pretty unfortunate, only able to deal basically 30%. You know, that's kind of nothing. It is a pretty even game right now. And I think that might be better for E. You know, we saw that when they started on the even playing field for game one, you know, E took it, uh, the first stock. But, uh, you know, Sinji was able to turn it around. Actually, you know what? No, nah, Sinji's still riding it. I feel it. Ooh, 
Sinji was going to end it right then and there. Somehow he just wasn't able to land it. That's really unfortunate. I guess it's just like you seen a smaller body than he expected. And that, my god, how, what a way to turn it around. E taking game one. Okay, let's see what E gets rid of. So we're getting rid of Pokemon Stadium 2 and Smashville. Nope, nope. Pokemon Stadium 2 and FD. All right, Sinji, deep thought. He's like, all right, we'll go to Town City. I like Town City. It's a big stage, you know, so he can definitely, like, he, he can make the space that he needs, but then also the platform layout, like, depending on how the flow of the match goes, uh, he can really take advantage of it, you know, because when he throws the bell, the flan, the whatever, right, it, it can just, like, shark the platform. So, like, when you think you're nice and safe, uh-uh, and then you're stunned there, he's going to come and get you. Okay. Uh, you know, getting some taps in. Nothing too much. Uh, e going with the... Two pretty uh, good hits right there. But, you know, nothing riding home about yet. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Alright, this is what I'm talking about. We're gonna see those we're gonna see these kinds of setups. Try to anti air him. Uh, but they put the bell in the way, then it came down and ended up getting eating a down smash for it. Okay. We've actually seen that one before. So hopefully E has done his homework. He was ready for that. Oh wow, I really like that. So Sinji a little bit confused, understandably so. Got hit by a really wonky angle. And like, so when you have like those, uh, like that vertices, like right where the stage changes shape, you know, uh, it's like, what part, what face are you gonna get hit by? And it looked like he got hit by a horizontal, a vertical face. So he actually bounced outward. Right now they're just kind of dealing some damage to each other. Uh, nothing ridiculous is going to happen here, you know. Like, you know that Sinji's going to be looking for some setups, but he's always going to He's not going to overextend. He's not going to give it to him. Like, you even saw, like, when you hit the Hydrant, if you didn't knock it, then that's no longer yours. Wow, really good job reading that. Able to catch him with the up smash, but didn't steal out the stock, just that. Ooh, he trying to get a repeat of that first stock the way he took it. Swing at a, precar at a precarious time for Sinji in a precarious positioning. <gasps> Did he just DI out from that? I think he just held out. All right, so right now this is looking pretty good for Sinji. Never mind, it's even again. Just when you thought it was looking good for him, it's even again. He gonna keep us on our toes for that. But Sinju is like, double psych, I'm gonna hit you with the, my plane combos. Now you're at 90, doofus. I'm at, I'm at zero, what are you doing? You gotta hit me too, it's a fighting game. All right, and a few hits, not taking his, his smack. Uh, 
That's like a really classic bait right there, the way he throws it, because you don't want to like even remotely compete with the bell. Wow, really good dis uh, uh, disconnect from the ledge there. Really quickly processing all the coverage that Sinji was making and just went for the right option there. Hundred Ooh! I think we might be going to a game three. But Rage Cena? Nope, nope, definitely going to game three. De definitely going to game three. All right. So what are we going to get rid of? Sinji going to get rid of Battlefield? Okay. And Smashville. Yeah. Uh, you know, Smashville is a really good stage for Lucina. You know, she's a fast character. She covers... So she can cover more space, and that platform just lets her shark, you know. So we're going to be going to Yoshi's Story. Uh, yeah, we went to the other triplat. You know, this this triplat has, uh, you know, some different features and blast zones to it. It's not a battlefield blast zone. It's a standard blast zone. So, like, the, that ceiling is awfully close because you got platforms to help you out. And we out of here. Good counter pick, dummy. <laughs> no, not like this. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, can we get the JV4? Let's just. Nah, E not having it. Not having any of my fun. <laughs> oh my god. That down air brought to you by the entire cast of Stomp. Yeah, that forward air is crazy. All right. Obviously, you're gonna make it back from that. Ooh, I think if uh, E had a better uh, like grip on how he was gonna come back at that point, he could have sealed out the stock. But he did it anyway on the other side. He's like, I feel like more of a. More of a right side kill. Is this like actually really tragic? Cause like you saw that he got that, you know, we'll call it a zero death. Then he built on a lot of damage, but then when he went deep and took the first stock, uh, Sinji never took that second stock. So now we actually evened up the game. Ooh, top, top. What? How did he do that so early? How did he do, didn't he like do a get up option? Or am I or am I bugging? I'm checking this. Oh, it looked like he did a get up option, but he just disconnected from the ledge. So it was just the animation of her like going from ledge hang to uh, like regular airfall. Never mind. I thought she was doing something. Yeah, so really good stuff. And now Ian the lead. Uh oh. Uh, we got the we got the bell on deck. Uh, Sinji killing two birds with one stone using the first hit of the bell to knock the hydrant. I guess it does damage, so he's able to hit it with the next hit and just like cover the space. Where he's like, oh, you have to dodge this and that and me. But now we're seeing. Oh my God, great tech. We're seeing. Uh, you know. He kind of just building a little bit too much damage. I really like that he's going deep now for these. Uh, he's really trying to make Sinji have as little breathing space as he can get. However, if Sinji does take this stock here, uh, you know, I would not be surprised if we see it even out, you know, because then, then you're just in the driver's seat a little bit more. Ooh. Hanging on to his jump. Really good stuff by E right there. Oh, man. Mm 
Bro, he cannot die. <laughs> Peace. All right. So, what I said earlier, if I got the stock, I think at this point it might be a little bit too little, too late. And it is. Just like that. E going to be taken at 2 1. Good attempt uh, by Sinji. He did, he did some good work right there, you know. Uh, it was never, you know, a wash. So, yeah, good stuff to E moving on into winter semis.